Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to section 2.4, Writing Linear Equations. We are going to get started with slope-intercept form. And slope-intercept form we have seen before, but just a re little refresher, that it is y equals mx plus b, where your m, which is anything attached to your x, is your slope, and then whatever is added or subtracted to your x is your y-intercept. So let's see if we can put our slope and our y-intercept in slope-intercept form. So we have y equals, and then m is one-third, so that one-third is going to go in for m, 1 over 3, x, and then we add or subtract, but it's a subtraction sign, so it's minus 4. Now let's go ahead and graph this bad boy. So if I'm graphing this, my y-intercept, I would always start with your y-intercept, it is negative 4, so I'm going to go on my y-axis, I'm going to go down 4, and put a point right on negative 4. Now my slope is a positive one-third. Remember, slope is also known as rise over run. So I'm going to go up 1, and now since it is a positive one-third, I'm going to move to the right 3 and put a point. All right, you could keep doing that, or from your original point, if you want to go backwards, you would go down, and since it is a positive slope, you would want to move to the left to have that slope go up from left to right. And so once you have your dots drawn, you can go ahead and connect it with a line. And there is a line of y equals 1 third x minus 4. Next, we are asked to write an equation in slope-intercept form for each line that is shown. So the first thing that we want to do is to find our y-intercept. So we look here, and we see that it goes through negative 1. So our y-intercept, our b, is negative 1. Awesome. Now that we have our y-intercept, we want to see what our slope is. Right? You can pick two points, just like what we did yesterday, find the slope, or you could just count. So I'm going to count to my next point that goes through a grid, and I see this point right there there goes through the grid so I'm going to count from here go to there so my rise is 1 and I go over 1 2 so my rise again was 1 I went over 2 this is a positive line because it is going up from left to right so now if I write it out I have y equals my slope is 1 half then it's attached to my x and then minus 1 let's try the purple line well first thing we do is pick out our y-intercept, our y-intercept here is 2. Now we have to find another coordinate where the purple line passes, and it's right there. So now let's count to it. So now I go down, 1, 2, 3. So here, my slope is going to be 3 over, and then I have to go over 1, so it's 3 over 1. And now we look at our line, is it going up or down? It is going down from left to right, so it is a negative 3 over 1. We are writing this in slope-intercept form. We have y equals, our slope is negative 3 over 1, or just negative 3, x plus 2. Now we have point-slope form, which makes our life a little bit easier, where we have this y sub 1 and x sub 1 is our point, and our m is the slope and in point slope form we will always have a y just a single y and this x hanging around this y sub 1 and x sub 1 will actually be numbers when you put it in point slope form so let's see what we can do with this now it asks find the slope intercept form now this is key find the slope intercept form of the equation of a line that has a slope of 3 fourths and passes through uh, coordinate point 8 2 well, we have to get it into something that looks like this. Well, we have a slope and we have a point, right? So we could use this and manipulate it a little bit, but why not just use point-slope form and make it look like slope-intercept form? So let's go ahead and try it. We start off with y minus, and now from our point. From our point, it is x, y, so I'm going to subtract 
2 from that y, because that's where the y-coordinate goes, equals our slope is given to us. It is 3 fourths, and then we have the first x minus our number x, which is 8. And now we go ahead and distribute. So it's going to be y minus 2 equals 3 fourths x minus 6. We add the 2 to the other side. So we have y equals 3 fourths x minus 4. And now, does this look an awful lot like slope-intercept form? You bet. And so now, we wrote a equation of a line in slope-intercept form of a slope 3 fourths and passing through this point. Now let's try another one. Again, we're asked to write an equation in slope-intercept form, so something that looks like this. We are given this point and a slope of this, so we can use point-slope form and rewrite it to make it look like this. So let's go ahead and try it. We have a x sub 1 and a y sub 1. So let's go ahead and write y minus, what's y sub 1? It is 3, and that equals my slope of 2 times x minus, and x sub 1 is also 2. And now once you put it in point slope form, all we have to do is solve for y, or get y by itself. So we distribute first. y minus 3 equals 2x minus 4, adding the 3 over. y equals 2x minus 1, and there is the point slope form of the line. A couple more. Now we are asked to write an equation of a line that is passing through the given points. Well, here are given points. Now we have to find a line that passes through it. Well, we do not have a slope, but do we have some tools to find the slope? You bet. We have y minus y over x minus x, right? So let's just go ahead and use that. Here we have a x, y, x, y. So let's plug them in to find our slope. So now we have 7 minus a negative 3, and that's over. We have to go from the same point now, negative 2 minus 3, which turns out to be minus a negative makes a plus, so it's 10 over negative 5, which turns into negative 2. So now we have a slope of negative 2. Now we can pick any coordinate point we want, and I'm going to pick this coordinate point and use point slope form, and then change it into slope intercept form. So let's go ahead and try it. Now I have y minus a negative 3 equals negative 2 for my slope, and then x minus 3. I'm going to clean things up a little bit. I have y plus 3 equals negative 2x plus 6. Now we can just keep simplifying. Move the 3 over, so y equals negative 2x plus 3, and there is slope-intercept form that passes through these two points. Well, how about number 2? We can do the same exact thing, y minus y over x minus x. Let's label our x's and y's just so we can see where we're heading. So now we go negative 3 minus 7 over and then going back to the same point I picked my y from first, 2 minus a negative 3, and it turns out to be negative 10 on top, a positive 5 on the bottom, which our slope is again going to be negative 2, just kind of happened by accident. Now again, we are going to pick any point, you could pick this point or this point to plug it in. Well, I'm going to go with, let's go with that point. So we have y minus 7 equals our m, which we found to be negative 2, and then x minus, and that's a negative 3, so make sure you also have that negative in there. Clean things up a little bit. We have y minus 7 equals negative 2 times x plus 3. 
clean some things up some more, we're going to distribute that negative 2, so y minus 7 equals negative 2x minus 6. And then we add the 7 over, so y equals negative 2x plus 1. Now we have parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, right? They are railroad tracks. These two lines have the same slope, same slope. Perpendicular lines have flipped and opposite slopes, flipped and opposite slopes. So these lines are example of perpendicular lines. Why? Because they make a square, right? They make a 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and check out a couple perpendicular lines. Perpendicular slope to 2 would be 1 over 2 because we have to flip it and then we have to make it opposite. 3 over 4 would be this uh, perpendicular to negative 4 thirds. Now we have a negative 1 fourth. Well, we have to flip it and then make it opposite. So it would be a positive 4 over 1 or a positive 4. Negative 5 eighths would turn into a positive 8 fifths, and negative 3 would turn into a positive 1 third. Now, let's try a couple problems with this. Now we are asked to write in slope intercept form of a line that passes through this point using and perpendicular to this line. Well, we have tools that we can use to solve this. All we need now from this equation is our slope, correct? Well, it says perpendicular. What is our slope here? of this line, it is 2. A perpendicular slope is flipped and opposite, so our slope here, our m, would be a negative 1 half. As soon as you find your slope, now we can go ahead and plug it into our point slope form. So let's go ahead and try it. Again, this is x sub 1, y sub 1. So here we go. y minus a negative 6 equals our m of negative 1 half times x minus 8. We clean some things up and distribute y plus 6 equals negative 1 half x plus 4. And one more, here we go, we subtract it over, so y equals a negative 1 half x minus 2. And that is the equation of a line that passes through 8 negative 6 and is perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 3. And now what if we're asked for a line parallel? Well again the very first thing we have to do is to find our slope. So here a parallel line would have the same slope, a parallel line would have the same slope, so here our slope is negative 3. We can use this coordinate x sub 1 and y sub 1 for a point. So again we're using point slope form. We have y minus 2, right here, equals negative 3 times x minus 1. We go ahead and distribute that negative 3, so y minus 2 equals a negative 3x plus 3. Moving the 2, y equals negative 3x plus 1, and there is our slope intercept form of the line. Notice how they have the same exact slope, just a different y-intercept. And that does it for section 2.4, writing linear equations. Good day.